Hey guys, so update on the Ninja. Um, the insurance adjuster comes out Tuesday to uh, have a look at it and probably total it out. It looks like the, the frame is bent, so that's gonna total it. Um, I moved and I'm really close to a Ducati and Triumph dealership and I could get a bike right away and get like a, there, there's a couple bikes I'm thinking about and I'll do a video later showing you guys the bikes. Um, so I'll probably go to the dealership here once I'm done with everything I need to do today. Um, but I'm thinking about doing the Ducati Super Sport, the Triumph Speed or Street Triple, just depending on what they have in stock. Um, but gotta have the R or the RS depending on the, the one I get. Or there's like an 08 999S. I'm pretty sure, uh, I don't know exactly the bike name of it, but it's signed by two racers. They got it for 15 grand and I'm like, I kind of want it. It's It's got the race setup on it. It's designed to be on a track. Um, I fell in love with the way it looks, but they won't let me sit on it to see how I feel on it. So I'm kind of like, I'm kind of torn. But if I get done here early, I'm going to Six Flags today. So that's why I'm like, if I get done here early, um, I will get you guys a video at the dealership and you know show you guys the, the three bikes that I'm leaning towards. And we'll see how it goes because I really, I'm kind of up in the air. So I want some input from you guys as well. Um, I love the way the, the street triple and the speed triple fill under, like, as you sit on them. Um, I love the way the Super Sport fills. It's it's like a sport touring if you've never rode one. Um, but then you have that race one, and I'm like, they've already they've already told me that it doesn't it, it doesn't like going slow, and I'm like, well, it's not really practical for in town riding or any riding if it's not on the track, but. It is also me, and practical's never really got, been my gut decision. Um, of course, neither is comfort. I, so I mean, uh, I will show you guys a video of the bikes later. I'm, I'm actually gonna try to go by the dealership here uh, later on in the day to see what we can get. But post up in the comments. Um, share the videos with your friends. Let me know what you guys think I should get. Um, I really, those are the three I'm leaning towards. Or I'm gonna wait and look into the, the 2020 Ducati Daytona. So let me know guys, uh, seriously. Comment, like, subscribe, hit the notifications button uh, that we guys can stay up to date on the videos. And then share them with your friends. Get your friends to subscribe and stuff. Um, I might've had a rough week, but or a rough couple weeks. But I still want to do giveaways uh, when I get higher subscribers and everything. So definitely, definitely knock that out. All right, guys? So go ahead and do that for me, and uh, I'll give back to you guys. Because, I mean, I'm doing it for your entertainment, not so much mine. All right, guys. I know it's a super short video. I'll try to get a longer one on the bikes. I'll try to get it, the uh, owners of the dealership in there. They have museum. They have a museum at the dealership, um, and I might go through that a little bit too, uh, and show you guys the different bikes that were raced over the years and, and how motorcycle racing started and everything else. So, just whatever you guys, whatever I think you guys will want to see, because let's face it, nobody's gonna comment on the video. You guys aren't gonna tell me what you want to see. Um, I'm gonna have to guess. So, definitely let me know. But I'm going to try to go a little more in depth on the bikes when I'm in the shop. Or at least in the dealership. So uh, that's all I'm going to do for now. I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here. You guys, I got it. My name's Triumphant Rider. But like if I get a Triumph, it's probably going to be the, it's probably going to be a Daytona. But I love the way Ducatis look. So I'm kind of up in the air. That's why I'm looking to you guys to see which you think I should get. Uh, or why I should lean more towards. So I like the way it's, you know, like I said, I like the way the Super Sport builds when I'm sitting on it. Because um, it sits up higher, but it still feels like a sport bike, which doesn't make sense. But, it, like, you sit on it like a touring bike, 
but it has every all the feels of a sport bike. Um, minus being stuck leaning for it being a leader bike. So, yeah, there's that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I'm going to go enjoy a day of Six Flags. Hopefully you guys will have dropped some comments. All four of my viewers and subscribers will have dropped some <laughs> comments. And uh, I'll be able to see what you guys think. Alright, thanks guys.